Hey, welcome to Judge Talks Movies. Now, this is my Blu-ray collection. Not allowed to see it yet. I'll turn it this way, how about that? Alright, so, this is also sort of a ranking, because um, I'm just doing my least best to best Blu-rays. Anyway, The Lone Ranger. I, I didn't even pay for this. I, <laughs> I didn't steal it, just um, got it from someone else. It's alright. I don't really mind this movie. Remember we saw it in the movies, James? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Don't they remember the movie that well? That was a couple years ago. <laughs> More than a couple, I think. Hang like on. 10, 20, 12, or no? I'll check what year this came out. I think out. we were like four. <laughs> yeah, I'll check what year this came out. Doesn't even say. I'll find out. Alright. I think it was like 10 or 9, 11 maybe. Yeah. Open Season, one of my favourite animated movies. It's actually really underrated. It's pretty funny actually. So, um, yeah. Just, uh, I haven't even watched this on Blu-ray. It's probably going to be <laughs> almost exactly the same as watching it on TV. Okay, I got Friday the 13th. Now, don't just ignore that. It's so misleading, the hockey mask in this. But, because if you've seen the first Friday the 13th, you'd, you'd know why it's no hockey mask in it. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so there's Kevin Bacon dead there. Can't really spoil it though. Got like doc commentaries and documentaries and stuff. Oh, I just spoils it on the back. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it just says medium level violence. Yes, R, oh, but you know, medium level. Nowadays it would be definitely just MA. Got it, chapter one. Did you like this movie, James? Oh, I've seen it for years, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, um, I was, I used to be a really big fan of this movie, but I've seen it like five times now I've kind of just got bored got bored of it yeah oh, it's got like deleted scenes and stuff but, um it chapter two <laughs> Jesus Christ this movie is crazy like every five minutes I don't know why but someone just tells me a lot of people tell me this is like boring I don't know it's not boring it's like mentally insane it gives you a seizure at the end pretty much nice it's got special feature I mean it's not technically a very good movie but it's a very entertaining one <laughs> Except for the end, which goes on for way too long. Because it goes for nearly three hours long. Um, I see Suicide Squad. Okay. Um, it's got the theatrical version and the extended cut, which is better. I know people hate this movie. It used to be my favourite movie, so... Yeah. <laughs> like, Alright. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's got heaps of... I like the special features in this, they're cool. But, um... It's a guilty pleasure, I have to say. The extended cut is, um, it's better. I hope that you release, I hope David Ayer release, <laughs> releases his director's cut. Um, Back to the Future Part 3. Yeah. I still need Part 2. Yeah, but, I got him that one. Pretty epic. Yeah. I thought it was Part 2 when I found it. <laughs> it's alright. I still like this one. But it's it just reminds good. me of being sick because I watched it when I was sick. You have to rewatch it then. Rewatch yeah. the trilogy. I've only watched it like twice, I think. I saw. I saw Back to the Future 3 on DVD the other day, but I didn't get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's got some, just some special features. I like that disc, it's, it looks like Clint Eastwood. Um, we've got Kick-Ass, have you seen this yet, James? I haven't ha seen it, but I have it. This movie's bloody awesome, it's so good. It's got Nick Cage in it, so it must be awesome. Have you seen Kingsman? <sighs> oh. Like, I don't remember Viewers, it. Viewers, if you've seen Kingsman, it's by, this is by the Kingsman director, such a... Such a good movie, it's very funny. So, um, yeah. Um, Pineapple Express. I used to have this on DVD, but we lent it to someone and never got it back. Nice. Yeah. My thumb looks like my cock. Funny that, movie. That's a funny joke there. Yeah, that's what, he, that's what he says, I think. Anyway, it's got Danny McBride, Seth Rogen, James Franco. James Franco is really good in this movie. He plays, like, typical drug dealer, but... With more heart, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we've got Eyes Wide Shut, which has high level sexy scenes. Mm. Anyway, oh, sorry, I'm not PG. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, not PG, no, not allowed. It's got Tom Cruise, like one of my only Tom Cruise movies, I think. Uh, this is obviously directed by Stanley Kubrick, one of the greatest directors ever made. That Man, might... Tom Cruise is good besides that uh, that extra stuff he does, you know? Yeah, uh, I Cults on, yeah. yeah. Stanley Kubrick, not my personal favourite director, but I definitely appreciate his films because they're cr 
they, you know, expanded upon film history, created film history. Um, Martin Scorsese's Casino, definitely not as good as Goodfellas, which is... Good. These movies are very <laughs> similar, like, they have a similar style to it. Mm. This feels like Goodfellas, but it goes for three hours and it's at a casino. It's in Las Vegas. Is it completely in the cas- casino? No, it's not completely in the casino, I mean, like, Las oh, Vegas. Okay. But, um, and it goes for three hours, one of my... <laughs> Favourite three-hour movies, because it doesn't feel like that at all. Mm. Although I did watch this, like, on separate days, like... But, um, yeah. The reason it's so low on this stack, I mean, is because... Well, the thing when I pe- when I put it in has this little box on the side. Like, whenever it plays the movie, like, up top, you know, the black mm, box. Yeah. It just has a box up there. I don't know how to get rid of it. Mm. But other than that, it's I good. try to ignore it. It's a very good movie. The Blu-ray... Just could have you been know, a bit you know what that movie reminds me of. Like when I look at the title, it just makes me think of something that's like completely different to what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. I watched the movie Steve Jobs, and I thought it would be about like the history of Steve Jobs. No, it's not. It's literally just behind the scenes of him yeah. walking around. Yeah, as you can see, you can then you can see Robert De Niro there. I didn't even see that. High level violence, high level coarse language. Yep. I think there's not as much violence as I thought there would be in this movie, but I don't care. Who cares about violence? Scorsese is like my third favorite director ever. Okay, we've got American Reunion. I love this movie. It's so funny. I love how they crossed out like the DVD in the yeah, thing. You got it from Cash Converters, yeah? Didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I got funny. I got that with Back to the Future Three of it. So it just has the Blu-ray disc, which is good. And Eden Pie, pretty epic Eden yeah. Pie. I'm glad it didn't have the DVD because it wouldn't have the unrated version, which is barely different. To the theatrical version. Eh, it's something think. different. It's like, it's like... It's like 10 seconds It's or like something. the extended version of um, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Yeah, it's like a like, minute longer or something. There's some more dialogue and then one scene at a yoga thing. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. I thought the end scene was extended. No, I don't think oh, so. Oh, fuck it then. Um, Halloween 2018, which should have just been called Halloween I saw this something. the other day for like five bucks at JB, but I didn't get it. Really? Oh, no, it was like 15, actually. I this is the fun. latest and the best sequel, in my opinion. If the digital expired, is a real question. Um, I got rid it... of it because it didn't work. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, give it to the viewers if you haven't used yeah. it. Most of my digital codes I don't even use, so. Mm. Um, yeah, this has got a very boring disc and boring main menu, but I really like this movie. It's very... Yeah. I think it should be appreciated a bit more, but there's probably because there's some things in it that are very stupid. But it has Jamie Lee Curtis is very good in this. Michael Myers is probably one of the one of the scariest portrayals, played by James Jude Courtney. So that's cool. Um, we've got my favorite horror movie of all time, The Shining. Oh yeah. Oh, my favorite Kubrick movie, even though I've only seen three of them. Um, it's got all right disco, like how it's shiny, but um. The oh, Shining. Huh? I I didn't even think that. I just said that anyway. Um. Jack Nicholson. Any John. special features on this movie? Yeah, it's got commentaries by the steady cam inventor who actually filmed this movie. That's why there's so many very stable shots and long takes in this movie. Um, there's a documentary by Stanley Kubrick's daughter, actually filmed while they were making this movie, which is 40 years old this year. Same as Friday the 13th. Yeah. Man. Very good movie. It's one of my favourite movies ever. And the sequel to The Shining, Doctor Sleep Director's Cut. Which goes for three hours long. I haven't even seen the theatrical just because this was so good. Um, this is a very good sequel, one of my favourite sequels actually. It's very different <laughs> to The Shining, so that's, you know, you like when the sequels do that? Yeah. 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 Very, very good. Uh, Mike Flanagan, who adapted the screenplay by Stephen King. Because not many people know that, that Stephen King wrote a sequel to The Shining. Mm. Um, the thing really good about this movie is that it... Um, how do you say it? It's basically adapted for the Stephen King fans and the Kubrick fans. Because of the movie, Stephen King didn't like this because it was not accurate to the book at all. I'm talking about The Shining. Actually. Yeah. Wait. But the is... Blu-ray quality is amazing. Is the movie Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, is that shit or is it good? I haven't even seen that. Like, I saw it at Sanity and I was like, oh my god, I don't even know about this. Like, I remember it coming out and I just remember nobody talking about it after it came out. Apparently it's alright though. Mm. I think so. I've just seen the Dead Meat Kill Count of it. Mm. Subscribe to Dead Meat. Anyway, 
Um, my second favorite school saving movie, my first school saving movie ever saw, The Departed. Mm. It's got one of Jack Nicholson's best performances. Matt Damon, I didn't really like Matt Damon, but I do now because of this role. He's so good in this. Of course, my favorite actor, Leonardo DiCaprio. Is he a favorite? Yeah, he's very good in my opinion. But, um. He's not my favorite, but I like him. Martin Scorsese's best film since Goodfellas. That's kind of, kind of my opinion. Um, this movie is very good. It's actually two, two and a half hours, but I thought it was longer than that. Uh. But I've um, got one of the best soundtracks out of his movies as well. All right. Kill Bill Volume 1 and Kill Bill Volume 2. I'll talk about both of them. I've got that one, and I'm going to get that one. Yeah. yeah. They've got boring discs, so I won't show you. The They're just blue. They're it's literally got blue. It's roadshow symbol, but uh, it's very awesome. What I special love, features does it have? It's got making of Kill Bill look, on both of them. Shingon performance from the Kill Bill Volume 2 premiere. And musical performances from the band that's in the movie. You remember... Yeah. Yeah. It's th songs that get in my head every time. And then there's trailers in this one and deleted scenes. Um, I love these movies. I kind of like two better. I used to like one better because it was more violent. Mm. But two just is. I think it's a better quality movie. But not Tarantino's best, in my opinion. We'll get. Actually, now it's on DVD. Don't worry. <laughs> um, Avengers Infinity War. A lot of people like Endgame. Better than no, a lot of people like this better than Endgame. But look at that, look at this color. Also, mm. I think Endgame is better. So, honestly, let's clear up the air. <laughs> What's your favorite Marvel movie? Just to clear up, clear what, up MCU, yeah. Endgame, <laughs> honestly, I mean, I like Endgame, but Guardians of the Galaxy, like, sorry, it's just I love that movie. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind. I have your opinion. <laughs> Thanos is much better in this movie than Endgame, but Endgame is mm. just my. One of my favorite movies ever now. Yeah, Endgame probably my second favorite MCU. It's like really good. Mm -hmm. Like the it's probably the quality of this Blu-ray is amazing due to like the CGI of Thanos and all that. Yeah, it's probably the longest movie that can have me sitting for the whole movie without being bored once. Yes. Yeah, so like a lot of movies where they're just like that some boring parts and then it gets more actiony, but that is just it keeps me in a seat the whole time. Yeah, just keeps it good. Baby Driver, Edgar Wright's latest movie unfortunately his newest film is being delayed i'm pretty sure mm. um my favorite director of all time edgar wright because <laughs> mm. he directed my favorite movie hot fuzz um the coolest movie of the decade it wouldn't go that far but baby driver have you seen this start to watch it it's all right i'm not going to spoil anything but the action sequences in this they're edited to the music that's going on yeah but so like this is one of my one of the best edited movies ever in my opinion. <laughs> mm. It's like just so, you know, Edgar Wright, yeah. Edgar Wright classic quick cuts. You know, like in Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, and stuff. yeah. In my opinion, movies like that, like I'm not sure, but I haven't seen it. But like a lot of movies of good editing don't give their editors enough credit, man. Yeah. Like editors need a, at least quite good credit, in my mm. opinion. Um, Jamie Fox. <laughs> he was like the plays the perfect asshole in this movie, but it's great. Wait, who edited this? Um, Paul Machlis and Jonathan Amos. Mm. I don't know who they are, but well done. <laughs> um, Saving Private Ryan, my second favorite Spielberg film ever. Yeah. Um, love that rating graphic. Um, it's definitely not a fun movie. I'll tell you that because it's very sad, very depressing. Yes, I know that. <laughs> yeah. The opening scene, the opening sequence, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. It's just so graphic and a really, very realistic, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Um, the Blu-ray is great. It goes for almost three hours. Um, <laughs> Deadpool 2, the super duper boop cut. You know, super duper cut. Hey, don't swear on this channel. Just kidding. Yeah, who cares? Fuck around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Deadpool 2, super duper cut. I, I used to like this better than Deadpool 1. I don't anymore, but De I still love Deadpool 2. Yeah, when it first came out, that was the same with me. I was like, oh my god, so much better. But then I was like, nah, Deadpool 1's a classic shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, Super Duper Cut, I used to think that was better, but... I haven't even seen that cut of it. <laughs> the, the theatrical is much more streamlined and probably 
funnier because you know the jokes don't, don't drag along. Mm. Um, yeah. He's got the first one on DVD and the second one on Blu-ray. I've got the first one on Blu-ray and the second one on DVD. So pretty much reversed up there. Yeah. I think this is my latest Blu-ray I have. Another one of my favorite Spielberg movies, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I've only seen this movie recently. I just wanted to buy it on Blu-ray because it has the theatrical version, the special edition, and the director's cut. Mm. So I can watch... <laughs> I don't think they're that much different. The special edition is, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You get to see it inside the spaceship at the end. But um, I love this movie. It's very good. <laughs> it's very, it's a very good movie. Um, Richard Dreyfuss is very good. Um, yeah. Watch it. James, you should watch it sometime. Yeah. Um, now, this one's a beast. My second favourite Tarantino film. Yeah, I like it better than Pulp Fiction. This is probably yeah. in my top five, not going to lie. Movies in general, it's like... very unappreciated. I yeah. truly respect this movie. Like, this is Quentin Tarantino's love letter to the old golden age of Hollywood. Um, one of Leonardo DiCaprio's best performances, along with Brad Pitt. And Margot Robbie's not really in it as much as I thought she'd be. I have my poster there, actually. It's on one of my favourite posters I have. It has seven additional scenes and other, other exclusives. Um, so many I movies have movie. deleted scenes. This movie, when it ended, I thought... Like, the first time I watched it, though, there was one disappointing thing, right? When it ended, I was like, oh, it's over, you know? Yeah. But I didn't know it was going to end that quickly, even though it goes for two hours and 40 minutes or something. Mm. I thought it was... I thought it was, like, only two hour mark already. But, um... Avengers Endgame. Yep. Um, I bought this... Just, yep. <laughs> last year. Like, I was so anticipated to buy this movie. I've got it at Sanity, which isn't here anymore, unfortunately. Yeah, but fuck them. <laughs> I just... I use my Sanity gift card, because I got that for my B-Day. Um... 85th B-Day. Yeah. One of my favourite three-hour movies because it's so entertaining. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to spoil this because it's been out for over a year. One of the saddest deaths. I actually cried at the movies, I think. I almost cried when Iron Man died, but, you know. Mm. Um, my second latest blue room, I'm pretty sure. Taxi Driver. Yep. This is a very good movie. I only watched it once, and I wasn't the biggest fan when I saw it, but I kept thinking about it. It's stuck in my brain, you know? Um, <laughs> it's so cool. Look at that disc. And then look at this. You've seen it in the Blu-ray hunting video, but I just wanted to show it again. Um, it's got tons of special features. If that focuses, you might be able to read it. Mad doesn't matter. It's got heaps. Um, first movie to say high-impact violence on it. Even though there's not much violence until the end. We're but, getting we're getting to the bottom, we're getting to the bottom. Yep. Um Jaws the fortieth anniversary, one of my favourite Blu-rays. Mm. Even though I haven't seen the full movie on Blu-ray. That yet. literally the cover's the exact same as the thirtieth anniversary. Really? Yeah. I don't think they released the thirtieth anniversary. Yeah they did, I've got it. <laughs> you have Jaws? Yeah, thirtieth anniversary edition. When did you get Jaws? Um at Lismore. Oh, yesterday. On DVD. Oh yeah, don't don't worry, I just remember. I kinda spoiled that that for my uh uh monthly video but who it's cares. one movie who cares it has a two hour documentary that, of the making of jaws and another documentary called the shark is still working and the same special features as well one of my favorites i think it's like my third favorite spielberg movie ever made yeah I like I'd this i give this a 10 out of 10 i love this movie so much i have a poster up there as well just yeah that's been there for ages that poster eh? yeah um Alien on Blu-ray. I love this one. I chucked in this one, yeah. It's pretty good. It, it has pretty uh, good. theatrical and director's cuts. Yeah. The director's cut is much better. Better? If you've Guys, you know why it is much better in our opinions? We watched it at the theatres this yeah, year. We watched it the movies. Yeah, and we didn't expect it. That was the good thing. It mm. just said Alien, and when we got there, it was the director's cut. And one of my friends that we watched it with, he hadn't even seen the movie, so yeah. he said he enjoyed it much it more. A surprise for him. Yeah. <laughs> Although he was very annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, um, I love this movie, and I I used to think the second one was much better until I saw this at the movies, and I'm like, no, Alien the original is just a much better movie. Of course, Aliens is a better action movie because that's a horror movie. Yeah, I just prefer this. I watched Aliens the other night. It's good. I'm just not a fan of the ending, like mm -hmm. personally. We're down to my top three Blu-rays ever. 
Number three is Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I was really, really looking for this movie. And we the found it. The first day I started to look for it, I found it at a pawn shop. Mm. Yep. At pawn. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, it's got tons of special features. I watched the, commenta- with the commentary on with Dr- Edgar Wright, um, Michael Bacall, and Brian Lee O'Malley. It's very, it's a very funny commentary. Mm. I love that disc. It's such a good Blu-ray. Um, you know, don't you just love it when Blu-rays live up to what they are meant to be? Yeah. Sometimes they're just a silly. But um, number two is Apocalypse Now, the two-disc special edition. Does it have Redux on it? Apocalypse Now, Apocalypse Now, Redux, and over five hours of bonus features. Um, yeah, it has now Apocalypse Now and Redux on the same disc. That is hell, hell. <laughs> Bulky disc. It's Blu-ray, yeah. Um, and then the special features. I wish they put um. Oh, what is Marlon Brando? Yeah, Marlon Brando. I wish they put Marlon Brando on this, but you know, Ma- Martin Sheen, one of his best performances, quite obviously, and all of the special features. I sat down up on the bed one time, this one afternoon, and I just started watching. This <laughs> just started watching all the special features. It's very interesting. Now my favorite Blu-ray. Goodfellas, the 25th anniversary Blu-ray edition. You have the... Uh, I have the Blu-ray, but I I it's, just a, it's just a normal Blu-ray. It's it has, an older Blu-ray version. I think. I think it has the same special features, or maybe it's a bit no, less. Because my, mine has two discs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mine has, like, multiple documentaries and things like that. Mine has three and documentaries, all... and it has, like, a bunch of deleted scenes and stuff, so it's still yeah. pretty good. This is, like, two or three commentaries, I think. Mm. Yeah, they're two commentaries. Um... I love that disc. Goodfellas is my third favourite movie of all time, the Harris Scorsese movie. I just love this movie so much. Have you seen it, James? Yeah, yeah, so I've seen it. What would you rate it out of 10? Like a 10. Yeah, same. Guys, that's the end of this video. Alright, yeah, subscribe. Subscribe to, to JJ Talk Movies up there. Yeah. There's the name, there's yeah. the subscribe button. You just gotta little touch her, touch that thumbs up button. Yeah, that's all you have to do, you know. And peace out. Ugh.